Good morning, dear colleagues. Actually, I'm going to mention some technical specs as well. At the Scientific Center of Operational Earth Monitoring is the op is the operator of the remote sensing systems. We receive requests from the customers who want to do the remote sensing. We uh, pre uh, prepare plans for remote sensing. We receive materials of remote sensing. We catalog them and process them. Subsequently, we deliver um, finished materials to our clients. My report today is going to be dedicated to the satellite resource P and the standard products which are prepared uh, based on the data acquired from this satellite. The satellite uh, of this nature is uh, the only one on the orbit and uh, Mr. Valery Zeichkov already mentioned that it's a unique spacecraft and the resource P which is orbiting at the moment was launched on June 25th 2013. It was mentioned earlier that this year the constellation is going to expand to two next year to three uh, satellites and the productivity of this constellation is going to grow with years. This slide shows the orbit parameters of this satellite. The orbit of the satellite is uh, uh, circular uh, solar synchronous with a height of 475 kilometers. A few words about the hardware. The hardware is of super high resolution, Geoton L1. Here you can see the main specifications of this equipment. It allows us to uh, acquire images in panchromatic mode, no worse than uh, one meter re resolution. And there are also six multispectral channels with a resolution in multispectral bands of about three, four meters. The breadth of swath is 38 kilometers. Here is an example of the image acquired from this uh, spacecraft. It is an integrated RGB color image with a resolution of one meter. Those people who look at it attentively, they will see that this is Madrid, Spain. Hyperspectral sensor that was mentioned previously. I have nothing to add here because the breadth of swath is 30 kilometers. Uh, ground sampling distance is 30 meters. Uh, number of bands is no less than 96. Spectral resolution 510 nanometers. And complex of wide field multispectral sensors consists of two sets of equipment of uh, medium and high resolution. You can read their specifications here. Both uh, types of uh, hardware have panchromatic band, and the resolution of the panchromatic band is in media, medium resolution equipment is about 60 meters in the high resolution equipment 12 meters and the mindless spectral bands uh, about 120 24 meters accordingly additionally there are also five multispectral channels and you can read their characteristics on this slide these are the sample images the capacities of resource P in terms of space imagery. Here on this slide you can see the schematic that the route surveying can be done by this satellite with constant deviation constant roll and pitch or you can do the imaging with constant azimuth with a certain angle to the trajectory of the flight up to 60 degree there is also an aerial surveying mode when in one orbit 
uh, two routes can be covered as a result in one orbit uh, one can uh, acquire bigger areas, uh, images of bigger areas. And stereo surveying. Stereo surveying is performed at a single turn with a deviation by the pitch and the length of, uh, of stereo pair is up to 115 kilometers. Speaking about standard products, this is a table and it's not really legible here on this slide, but you can find these tables in the handouts of the conference. Here you can read standard products from the sensor Geotone. Standard products can be subdivided into four main levels. First, the initial information which can be submitted both uh, per bands and uh, in integrated form as a combination of different bands. The second level is the level where the image is transformed into a medium part of Earth. Second and third levels are also s supplied with RPC coefficients. Third level of processing a mosaic image. And the fourth level would be an integration of pen sharpening. Standard products of the hyperspectral sensor include three levels of processing, the, again, initial, the original source image and the transformation of it into the medium plane or the digital elevation model. We can also use ground control point if a uh, customer has them. And uh, standard products of uh, the broad swath image uh, with medium and high resolution. They're again similar to the standard products uh, acquired by the Geotone equipment. Again, four levels. The first level is the source or original image, then the image transformed on the medium plane. And then third level is the mosaic image. And the fourth level integrated or combined image or Spend sharpening. Speaking about the standard products, at the moment this is not an approved list of standard products yet. At the moment it is still a draft. As a result, as long as tomorrow we are going to have round tables and I suggest that we discuss this list. Maybe some people present here are interested or have uh, comments or remarks uh, about what I've read and we're going to take an under, under advisement and in integrate it into our working progress in future. That's all I had to tell you. Thank you. Thank you, Alexei. Now I would like to address our Russian colleagues, maybe foreign colleagues also. Tomorrow we have plans to organize a round table and we invite everyone, but uh, as long as in this room we have the, our main Russian companies who are handling the issues of distribution of remote sensing data like SoftZone, ScanX, Rakurs. That is why tomorrow we are going to announce uh, this time separately and we will discuss it with Viktor Adrov. And today, by the end of today, we will announce when we'll be organizing this roundtable. Are there any questions for, to Alexei from the floor? Yes, please. Yes. У меня есть вопрос. Скажите, пожалуйста, нам. Скажите, у вас есть ресиверы ГЛОНАСС на ваших э, спутниках? Как определялась орбита? Как определялась орбита? Ну что такое орбит? Ну, он так говорит, блин. You mean the remote sensing uh, satellites? 
Да, да, вот именно, именно спутники с серии ресурс. I think the next presentation will be more about this, because I personally am not prepared to answer this question. Хорошо, можно еще один вопрос тогда? Для калибровки орбиты. Вы проводилась ли калибровка орбиты, если да, с какой частотностью? Uh, again, I'm not going to give you a detailed answer, but orbit is calibrated every day based on the results. Каждый день, да? And it is regularly uh, calibrated every day. Большое спасибо. Thank you also. We're not uh, calibrating the trajectory, but actual mathematics of the orbit is being recalibrated every day. Would there be other questions? If there are no other questions, I have a small question. Tell us, please, what is your pricing policy? Uh, considering uh, those standard products that you are here to offer. At the moment, we are considering only standard products, and after we approve this list of standard products, I understand that we are going to decide on, make a decision on the price. Thank you. Thank you, Alexei.